as you can tell, I'm fucking bored. Yeah, let me pause that. Get that. And that. And that. Oh, good lord. Okay. No, well, I'm actually going to start new because I have never played as Male Shepherd. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Wait a second. Isn't there like... Fuck it, we'll just call him John Shepard. Please log fine. in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Talent electronic? Wait, what? Profile reconstruction complete. Decryption. Oh. Wow. I feel like such a noob. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. I definitely feel like a fucking noob. You know what? That was actually one of my biggest downfalls when playing this game. So, yeah, we'll do that. Identification confirmed. Mm. I was putting on veteran. Yeah, let's see how much I suck. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Yep. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the yes. only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, 
Just under 1,500 K. 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, derp. Mm. I'm always used to playing as a fucking infiltrator. Oh, this is gonna sound weird. Hang on. What the hell? Pop out chat. Okay. Oh, wow. It actually doesn't look too bad over on YouTube's side, but... At least people can actually choose the quality. If they want. Although, uh, fuck it, I'll just. It's fucking dark in here, but hi, there's a face. Anyway. Okay, so I've got combat armor and assault rifles. I've... As much as I loved being an infiltrator and everything. I really am going to need that, though. I haven't played this in so fucking long. Oh god, this is a sh oh god. I don't I don't miss any of this. No. Yeah, I read them all. Not really. And we'll just save here. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Oh my god, Just his mouth movements are so fucking weird. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? 
I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. Ugh, gonna be asking We're out all here on questions. Questions. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Indy Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. On my keys. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve phone. and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Hit do that. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander.
Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. How it's many... all based on Prothean how technology. Many glitches I'm gonna, this I'm is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. Hmm. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. Hey, Owen. It's a peaceful How you doing? farming world, but it represents something much bigger. I got Eden bored is one of and decided to and play this game, but as Mel Shepard, because I never played Mel Shepard. We were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. 
Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. Aww. We have to keep this low key. I want you to get some rest. Yeah, it's actually it's getting kind of late, even though I know you're a bit of a night owl. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Why does Anderson's head kind of look like a potato? Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Huh. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. No Mission other assistance just besides just being sleepy? A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. I'm gonna have a hell of a Tell time and remembering how to, to play this fucking game. Going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. I actually hated the combat in this fucking game. <sighs> Just sleepy, I think. Uh, yeah, that will definitely do it. Um. his shit because I know what happens to him, so. Oh my god. Am I gonna get, like, motion sickness from playing this? What okay, the hell okay. are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. 
Yeah, I figure I'd actually just start um, streaming on both. Because since I'm not affiliated with Twitch oh anymore. What here? Actually, I just chose not to be affiliated with them because it's like, why should I have people subscribe to me when I don't stream that often? I just stream like for fun, so. So unfortunately, the quality button is not there. How you doing, Chungus? I seriously feel like I'm gonna get motion sickness from playing this game. <laughs> I got decent with this fucking thing. Stop it. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop fucking moving. I hate the sniper rifle. Okay, thank you. Somebody got it at least. All clear. fuck did he get all the way up there? I don't remember him going all the way up there. Oof. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. We'll see the of course, yes, I'm going fucking Paragon complete. for this. But I need you to stay well. just at work, wishing I wasn't at work. I completely aye, aye, get you, man. I'm actually surprised I even got out on time today. Tomorrow is going to probably be another, a different story. Take cover. This ain't Dead Space. I'm... You want me to play Dead Space again? I'll play it again some other time. I just never played as Mel Shepard, so... This is interesting. Mother effer sniper rifle from hell. Oh, absolutely hate the sniper rifle in this fucking game. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Uh, besides getting pissed off at the sniper rifle in this game, I'm actually doing pretty good. grenade thingy of some sort. Wow, that was a delayed reaction. Okay, I know there's stuff around here. Thing. No. 
Okay. But yeah, I'm doing alright. Oh, there's a shotgun. Where the fuck do I have a shotgun? Oh, hello. Hey, what's up, Peter? Now this is a game in comparison to what? Caden? Seriously? What kind of shooting was that? Hello. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. We were Actually, the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call. Join you too, Peter. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have like things on screen for you, the chat and everything for you guys to read on screen, but, but I am also on YouTube as well. So if there's ever a quality issue, um, you can always go on YouTube as well. No, he can't see your messages, but since I have such a small audience in comparison to um to art i can actually read everybody's shit here but um what happened to your unit where's the rest of your squad but we yeah i tried to double back to the beacon but we walked into an ambush i don't think any of the others i think i'm the only one left this isn't your fault williams you couldn't have done anything to save them yes sir we held our position as I long really as we love could, how the eyelashes the overwhelmed us. are more Gap prominent than the visor. The veil in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? I don't know. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back like in school. I like how he has like crooked puppy They're head. synthetics, non-organic life forms. Tilt my head every time I ask a program, question. Created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were oh, supposed to be a source of cheap Holy labor, shit. but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard <laughs> much from them since. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that was a quicker... Huh. Now when's that not gonna pop up on the other chat? I have like three chats up. Weird. Beacon. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the beacon. Suddenly every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Sure reminds me of a character. I don't know much about the computers. beacon itself. But I heard one of the researchers Just say because this could be the biggest armor. scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't um, know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Peter, Maybe I don't their unit fared better know than if that really works because how are you able to read what he said? <laughs> Montia, Describe what man. happened leading up to the attack. Montia. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. <laughs> Seemed like a routine patrol. Until the geth hit us. Um, yeah, and because in case, work. like, one chat doesn't work, I actually have, um... I have Restream, which actually shows me both Twitch and YouTube, but sometimes it hiccups. Like, the first time I was using it, it hiccups. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. And, um, I also have a pop-out of the Twitch chat, and I also have a pop-out of the YouTube chat. And that's on my other monitor. Oh, you got upgraded internet? That's awesome. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? Meadow's explaining uh, to, to Chungus. 
who's Not over on sure YouTube because Twitch is buffering anyway. for him. So that's you why the YouTube is an option. You know, carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Because Move out. she's specious. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this. I like how you both said, oh, okay. But yeah, eventually it's like, I'll, I'll get on um, having both chats up there. It's not going to be all fancy smancy or anything, so. It's just going to be like, chat here and a chat here. Have fun. Alright, squad. Okay. I really need that because I'm playing veteran. I'm gonna suck. Twitch buffers because I can't watch full HD videos on my. Ah, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, there's always gonna be this option here. Because of like shit like that, and also it's like a lot of, um, a lot of my viewers and friends have some of them are not lucky with like a with good internet. Yeah, I want to reduce the time on that. I need to do that for Shepard. There's gonna be a lot of saving. My new internet is great, but cuts out three times the. Oh! Yeah, you might wanna check into that, uh, Peter. My internet was doing that for the longest time, but it's a lot of times it was on my internet provider's, um, doing and everything which unfortunately they're known for that but fingers crossed but they've been pretty good so yeah you can lower the res on youtube exactly but yeah definitely get on their ass about that the beacon's at the far end of this trench because you're a paying customer i know there was like some more other shit around here but whatever Told me to come here. I like the automatic crouching. I met. Oh, who the fuck? Whose gun was I seeing through there? Oh, good shot, guys. I didn't have to do a damn. Oh, hi. I didn't have to do a damn thing. Have I gotten any new games? Uh, Spot Dark Cloud for PS1. I heard, I remember when that game came out. It never really caught my interest, but it seems like it was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna let my team take care of all this shit. As Caden dies. Get the fuck up. All clear. What? He just said that before he got back up. Um, this game has the most satisfying sniping. Uh, this game? The sniping sucks, alright? First Mass Effect sniping sucks. 
Second game, loved it. Third game, loved it. Andromeda, I only loved the combat and the exploring. The rest of the game sucked. But anyway, um, yeah. Have I gotten any new games? Not yet. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Um, let's see. I have... What are my newest games? I'm still kind of dabbling in between. I want to actually finish Dragon Age. That's not new. That's fucking old as fuck. Um, I still want to finish the first Dragon Age. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing in that game. I have no idea what I'm doing in the combat-wise. I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, I do have Red, Red, Red Redemption 2, which was gifted to me by my friend Mishi. Uh, I'm never going to stream that game because holy fuck. I've watched her play. I don't need her backseat gaming. <laughs> Love you, Mish. But no. Um, I am trying to plat um, Detroit Become Human. But anything new? No, I haven't really bought anything new because it's like I'm not really keeping up with like what's out there. I'm not like really looking into, oh, are there any new games coming out? If I hear about a game like I normally do ever since like I was a kid, then I'll look into it. But actually there is a game that uh, that does have a demo. If you guys are on Steam, if you heard of the game called like, if you've heard of Friend Bow and you know like that art style and everything, well, the creators who created Friend Bow, which I just found out through Jacksepticeye, there's one called, um, Little, um, Little Miss Misfortune. That game is like, just, just download the demo and check it out. It's actually, I like, I'm actually intrigued. I put that shit on my wish list. I'm like, I want to play. I suck at puzzles. I want to play. Or maybe I should just download the demo to that and play that, but I don't feel like having to change, um all my titles like a million fucking times I plan on like just playing one game this is the dig site the beacon was right here it must have been moved it grew legs our side or the gas hard to say maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp you think anyone got out of here hey, alive? Sure. if they were lucky maybe hiding up in the camp it's just on the top of this ridge up the ramps share I'm on YouTube you can change the quality there to potato with your potato internet. I want to check it out. I'll I heard the there. beginning tutorial is like a few hours for Red Dead. It's like the first chapter, the whole snow um chapter. But it's whatever. I never played the first Red Dead. Like the first time I've actually seen any gameplay was art playing it. And, yeah, that game, like, I love that kind of shit. A lot of people might find it's too boring and everything. But it's just, like, that kind of interaction and everything, I don't get that and everything. It's actually dumb. <laughs> ah, but, yeah. It's, like, Looks two each like their own. The camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. For whatever reason, it's fine here, but Twitch is like, nah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the oh fuck God. is up with Twitch. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Hello. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's my shield boost. Okay. Sabotage. Ah. Uh, Back. Um. What is that throw? I'm stuck on a rock. Really? 
Oh, other than a death. No, I'm usually an infiltrator. I don't know what the fuck I am right now. I just picked John Shepard and he gave me like two choices. Apparently I can be really good at decrypting things. That's the one I picked. Okay, is there anything lying around? That door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Thank you, Ashley. I'm gonna actually start calling you Alexa. Um, also, I swear I can... Uh... Well, I hate sniping in this game. This game sucks for sniping. Well, the first... Can... Uh, hello? Oh, I guess I picked... No, I didn't pick it up. Take it. Uh, what consoles do you own again? I own a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 4 and PC. I'm playing on PC. I think Generic Shep is a soldier. Basically, yeah. Oh god, I actually remember um, apparently this particular part is actually different via like PC and console because when Nagochan actually she played this game I think on her 360 and when she saw me playing this for the first time on PC she was like oh my god yours is different <laughs> oh fuck I forgot <laughs> Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the I don't know what it looks morning. like for console. I'll probably have to look it up. behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save I us. I never. No one is saved. The age of I never became ended. interested Soon when Crash Bandicoot came out. Remain. It never piqued my interest. I think it's because it was I was into um, different games at that time. You also played on 360, okay? I only had a 360 for like a month, and then I gave it to my brother. What else can you tell me about the attack? It I really don't like so Xbox. Fast. One second, we Nothing against the fact that it's like specs the or we hiding in the shed while the geth swarm like over the certain camp. games or whatever. It's just like I never liked them. Bringers of darkness. It's a matching mini game. Oh, okay. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would That's never another end. Then everything went quiet. Game series I never got interested in was there, Ratchet and Clank. Too afraid to move until you came I along. really was not interested in like the really cartoony kind of like uh, games. I was like more into like the more serious and like story based. Hated reading books, but I loved a good story from video games. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Oh, someone could find me Nihilus like a legit copy. The I'll play it. I don't. I don't here. feel like playing with emulators. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? I mean, I like it's some type of data module hate. from a galaxy-wide communications network. Xbox Remarkably well preserved. That's pretty it much could be no the greatest for... scientific discovery of our lifetime. Well, for Miraculous the games that you're interested in, yeah, I can understand that. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. His eyes are gonna roll so far back into his head. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. No, I'm just like the only any type of like emulators, left. like for like I gave him an PlayStation, or I actually can't. 
Um, hang on a second. I can stream from, like, my PlayStation 2. But for whatever reason, I try to put a PlayStation 1 game in it and everything, and it will not stream that. It... The Elgato is just like, nope. Fuck you. It, it likes PlayStation 2, though. Although, I'm gonna have to try that shit out again, because I don't remember how to hook that shit up. Say goodnight, Manuel. <laughs> you cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> Oh my god! What did you do? I shut that him up. might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Last time I had to use for an emulator, it took me like five hours to get it working. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I don't want to deal with. Okay, so I went through all that. Williams, done. take us okay. to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. He's passed out on the floor. I I'm not even nice enough to bring him to a bed. Yeah, it, it is weird. It's like, I don't get it. Um, oh, I've got stuff over here. Can I get between here? Yes. Take it all. Hello, Nihilus. Seriously, though, instead of having Andromeda, I really wish we would have gotten the first Contact War. I would love a fucking prequel. Sarah. Nihilus. And I'm still fucking pissed. This isn't your mission, Saren. That I didn't go to MegaCon last year. I should have just gone on my own, the like I'm doing this year. Some help on this and one. I would have met. The voice actor for Saren, and I would have met uh, to Mark Mir. The situation's bad. They're on PS4. Don't worry. Okay. I've got it under control. Well, I don't know. Eventually, I might get around to it, but it's just not exactly like something what I'm into. Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Hello, Sovereign. Yeah, Bioware pretty much just buried themselves alive. God damn, this is loud. Is it really loud? Sovereign. It's really fucking loud. suck with this weapon. I need to fix something, because I can't see shit. Yeah, fix that, please. Thanks. Oh, god. Yeah. The shit that they, um, that I was reading on Dragon Age 4, I haven't even finished any of the Dragon Ages. And I'm just like, what? And I'm like, I already saw what Anthem is like, and that just cringe. Um, Make your throw a little bit stronger. And I'm gonna be working on that on my own character, so. And we'll work on first aid. Ashley, get more health, please. And more combat armor. Then we'll work on damage. Hello. Enemy soldiers where you don't have skills, but 
Yeah, pretty much. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did Kaden die? Kaden did. And of course I throw something. What the fuck are you shooting at? Oh! Yeah! Hello! Hi, friend. That is so dramatic. I love it. Yeah, when they're not so fucking close, I can shoot shit. Hey, Cora. What's up? Kaden, you're always dying. Why do you think I always let you fucking die at Vermeer? Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Bullshit. Is it safe? Are they gone? Yes. Yeah. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. Okay, so my main ran. goal. I don't know what happened. Because I'm playing Male Shepherd. They were by the garage. Is to get that tally board, booty. Right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the protein beacon? What happened to your sniping skills, Kate? I heard they found something you out there. You played this before. Really you snipe people like crazy. The not the first game actually, the sniper sucks. It's not necessarily me. When I first played this game, um, I was worse. Kaden only exists for fangirls and, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, there's a girl that I, I know that actually she fucking loves Kaden. She's like the first and I'm like, I respect that. You can have him. Thane is my bae. I can't believe can I just said it that way. But yeah. I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over Although I do need board. to finish a playthrough where I actually noise, completely that romance Thane. It was emitting I some kind out. of signal as it descended. It sounded like but for male shepherd, Tally's aura all the way. It was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. There was something else that was supposed to pop up. Hang on. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? Sorry. Just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Okay. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the uh, Yes, exactly. That's why I chickened out, because I know I'll cry. From inside your own head. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. I know I missed something, because the they're supposed to have the something. The ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. Okay, whatever. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Oh, okay, then we're mad. That's what I was supposed to do. Jeez, Blake, you got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Probably not. 
Who's your contact at the spaceport called? If What's anything, I'll wait for like a huge a price guy. drop I before I get that game. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Got near Automata recently, and I gotta say, justice for Android Robo Booty ED started a revolution. I actually have that game too, but I actually kind of can't get into it. Uh, so I think it's gonna take me a while to get into it. But also there were some e um, some issues with the PC version. I had to download this shit to correct those issues. It's you such might a have hassle. something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. Just for the game it's to important. play right. It's like, yeah, guys, okay, port right. it correctly. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Thanks. I have to go. Good luck. Whoa. You need something? I have to go. Good luck. Wait, did he say? Wait, wait, wait. You need something? Hang on. I have to go. Okay, you just say have to go. I thought it said I sh. I thought have um said should. Sorry. Yeah, PC version is fucking the. Bitch. Really? The music just does creepy. It just totally cut off there. Okay, now it's back. I guess that was the end of the soundtrack there. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to Williams. I just want to see if there's any shit lying around. You're just replaying Ni no Kuni too? God. Come on. Commander. It's not us. What class am I? I have no fucking idea. I'm a soldier. I'm basically the class that Nako Chan likes to play. If there's a soldier class in any game, she's all over it. Eh, get on the fire. And I also, like I said earlier, I forgot how to fucking play this game. So that's actually better for me. What about Caden? It's better for him. You look funny, sir, but that's better. It's better than her princess armor. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, music, stop doing that. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> it just cuts off. I actually can't wait to see um... Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly um, got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding. I can't play games and creatures. commentary at the same time. My name's time. Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The I've also been up him. since four in the morning because it works. So I need to know how Nihilus died. Age roll life. Oh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. When playing Dragon Age, yes, because fuck being I, up close with everyone and shoving a sword in their ass. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the Fuck cargo the beacon train at and this headed point. over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. I'll do How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? 
They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I was sleeping. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. I think the first time I tried playing Dragon Age, I think I was going to um, do Rogue, Tell me about the and Geth then attack. I decided against it. it. One minute the ship was descending, the next those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Your call's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? I think it I think Warrior is kind of like that in a lot of games. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. What did he give me? We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Explosives. Shit. Ugh. Okay, so it overheats more. Uh, 
Right, that, since that takes a lot of fucking bullshit. <laughs> Make a bunny girl that you'll never play. God, I need the sleeves. Alright. Sorry, Katie, you're getting like the shit end of the stick here. What the fuck? I'm stuck on the wall. Hang on. What's up, Blake? Um, crouch, you idiot. Thanks, Caden. Um, hi. I suck at this. Whoa. Holy crouch, asshole. I'm having issues. Try to unlock your shotgun class as early as you can. Ugh. Not in much. Eat hot. Pocket pocket? You mean a hot pocket? Um, Blake, just so you know, people are all over on YouTube because Twitch is being an asshole to them, so. Just so you know, so you're not lonely in the chat. Yeah, 
I guess I should try that. I got an achievement? Yay. Fuck. You idiot! Yes, I know, I'm fatigued. I seriously am wondering what's going to be the first glitch I encounter in here. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no. Because I think the first glitch I ever encountered here. in this game was on my second playthrough, and um, just before that one club-like place—I forgot the name of it. Um, I ended up just glitching right through the fucking floor during a fight. It was great. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah, no pressure, guys. See who dies first, Caden? I miss kind of going invisible. Like, see, this is not me moving around. This is the gun itself. keep hitting that button like it's a uh, grenade button. I mean, a reload button. Oh, fuck. And welcome to the YouTube, Blake. Oh, that one's... What the fuck? How did I... I heard a beep. I don't miss this one. Gaiden's dead. No. Wait. Okay, Caden.
네. waste all my fucking grenades. Oh my god. Well, this game was like, what, 2007? I just scared myself with my own grenade. Go me. Not going near that thing yet. Yeah, the AI just kind of like, da 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 um, oh, okay, there was something. Oh, I guess, uh, Ashley decided to join the fucking party. Thanks, girl. I've already decided she's gonna die. <laughs> And also, well, remember was one that said that this game aged pretty well, which I think was Chungus, or uh, I think <laughs> I'm bad at remembering shit. Um, what should we call it? Um, I think I have like a HD kind of like pack thing over this. I told Art to have RoboCop to play. When you come in, oh my fucking god. It should just be like, dead or alive, you're coming with me. That should just be my thing when I enter his damn Twitch chat. Because that's basically how I feel towards the fucking chat. Like, his his chat... Is... Ugh. My god. He knows it too. He, he knows there, there are people I want to time out left and right. I won't necessarily ban them. I just want to time them out because it's like, come on, guys. Majority of you people are fucking adults and you should know there's a line to not fucking cross. It's just a common sense and also just respect kind of thing. But no, this is the internet. We are all keyboard warriors. And morons. I definitely have those days of being a fucking moron myself. I don't like the shotgun, so why do I want to do shotguns? I don't want to learn shotgun. <laughs> uh, what is this? Pistols, marksman, shotgun. Yeah. Okay. I do tell him that, Kai. Um, wow, I just read Kaiser and I meant to say Chungus. I am so sorry. I did not mean to insult you. <laughs> Fuck, I'm tired. <laughs> uh. mm. Yeah, I want him, I just want him to max that shit out. Uh, the last chat, somebody was complaining that the Regnet Redneck Rampage game was racist. Uh, everybody's gonna have something to say. People in his chat act like fake gangsters and shit. Yes, I know. I know. And, and the thing is, like, with me, is this is kind of like, if I don't approve of any of that kind of shit in my chat and everything, because I want people to enjoy talking to each other, and... I want to enjoy talking to people as well, so that's why I don't give a shit about having views or anything like that. Because it's like, I just want people to chat with while playing a game. I just realized she has some really big dick sucking lips. <laughs> Moving on. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
my god, yeah, let's just take it all. Wow. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna mess with any of this stuff right now. Oh, good lordy. Fuck! That was a troll, Blake. I was there when that user started. This game is racist. Well, it, yeah, everyone's got something to say. Not, and you can't win everything. Oh, I got stuff here too. It's just a lot of times, like for me, when it comes to gaming and everything, is like I don't get I. It really sucks. Is that I can't get hyped for anything, anymore. Um. Because people just kind of kill it for me with all the crazy ass hype. And you just can't enjoy anything anymore. It's like you might as well just live under a fucking rock now these days. Uh, I got myself a Shiva statue, but I have to wait to. I have to wait f for it in the post. Oh, in the, in the mail. Okay, got it. Be right back going to PC. Okay. I'm also thinking after this part, I'm probably going to go use the bathroom and then come back and continue some more shenanigans. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Actually, oh. Okay, I get it. So when you play a spam chef, Caden gets too close to it. Because it jumpstarts a possible romance. Shepard! No, don't touch it! It's too dangerous! Fucking eyes are gonna pop. Did his armor just pop? I saw. Oh no, never mind. It exploded. Never mind. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> the cinematics, like, parts are actually pretty nice. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Uh, which version of Shiva is this it? Human must be eliminated. Boobs. <laughs> That's all I got. Boobs. Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up. You had us worried there. Shepard. I am so used to having uh, Caden hanging around. <laughs> okay, they. Uh, okay, I have to look up what that version looks like again. Okay, just hold that thought. I really got to use the bathroom. Darkness. Anyway, be right back.
you know what? If I left the door open to my room and the door to the bathroom open. Hey, Senko. <laughs> Um, Senka, just so you know, I'm also streaming on YouTube, so if you see me talking, I'm not just talking to myself. Um, because I got YouTube and Twitch going on here. But, um, throbbing. nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 Playing as Mel Shep is weird, I'll tell you that Something much. Something happened down there. No, but if I left, because my room is literally right fault. next to the bathroom. I must have triggered some so kind of leave both doors open, and if I you stuck push me my microphone way. on conference mode. Oh, there goes the kid driving down the fucking street. Um, damn, that's loud. I'm pretty sure you could hear everything. Um... My god, woman, you need some eyeliner. You had no Fuck. way to know what would happen. I put the picture of it in Discord. Actually, we don't okay, even thank know you. if that's what set thank it you, off. Yummy. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Okay, good. Hmm. I guess it wasn't that I'm loud for it to pick up. It may... I have an asshole kid that likes oh. to, uh... Captain Anderson. Speed down How's the our fucking Excel street. Up, when all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. You are a mess. Sounds woman. like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Alenko agrees with nice. you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter. It must be like past. really dark in my legend. camera. I unfortunately do not have but a if light. If he's working <laughs> with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. 
He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity. Blake, from if you the think he needs sleep here, wait till we get to the third game. If I even make it that far. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. How That's much longer do you have on your shift, Chungus? We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I've been guilty. I have not been to the gym in like a little over a month. I actually just really hate my gym. I need to just cancel my membership and uh, go back to the other one that I really liked. At least I have more of a clue like when I'm working out and everything on what to do. Less two than two hours. Oh, they're gonna fly by. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. For some Thanks, reason, looking at um, Male Shepard, I don't really... I don't know, the blue eyes really fucking throw me off. It's weird. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But Wait, would so have been she's a, lot a Marine. Worse if you shown up. Shepard's part of the Navy? Well, he's N7, but originally Navy? We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay, as long as I don't fucking flirt with her, I'm good. I don't plan on having her, uh, sticking around. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on a Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs... Yeah, it's just like, yeah, for whatever reason. So just I stayed the... on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong These, choice? These like particular Sometimes shade I think of about blue eyes. A private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking weird. a position at one of the new med centers. Out Why of is the there office. a navy in space? There's something special about working <laughs> on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel We're like I was abandoned. Space. I don't know. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe, Maybe because of the space, headaches. Sea of it's stars not easy instead being of to. actual sea. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. What does that have to do with it? Space. Oh, well, most Jesus Christ, Chungus. I am not repeating that. Implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, Space insanity, course. crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Migraines can be crippling? <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hello, Laka. Uh, is there anything up here worthwhile? No? I just know in Mass Effect 2 I'm gonna fucking hate coming up here. A lot. 
Hi, Caden. Good to see you're okay, Commander. Oh. Okay. And ascend. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Fine. Why can't you just like do communications? I have to play. I have to be the messenger boy. No, oh, fuck it. Let's go downstairs. Okay, okay, space marines then. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My God. stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. Shepard, you look so angry. It myself, and it's Why not are you cheap. so angry? Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Oh, Why do you need wait, them? why am I asking this? I know what this sell means. Licenses. Each Pay for equipment? Me to buy and sell a it's an outrage! Uh, yes. I already have Blasphemy. several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Winky face. Anyway. God. I, I remember, yeah, they used to, like, show you what all this shit looked like. Except they just show you the cases. They don't actually show you the weapons. But I don't have shit. I got nothing. Okay. Nobody's down here. Oh, babe. Needs a Snickers. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Collecting all the codexes. Okay, when, what was the last game that I played that I actually played as, like, a male protagonist? I guess Dead Space. Honestly, that sound kind of reminds me of, um... An elevator. Basically, it's like an elevator. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough on the crew. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yay. Prettiness. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Oh, yeah, Look that's at that thing. monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. 
Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy Allen. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Hey, Just Dina. the ground team from Eden Prime. Dina, whatever the In case you had any questions. Fucking I asshole. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. A mass effect Sounds like you dead convinced space the crossover. To give us an they were not A lot of me about. just like freaking Seren's the fuck the out. Top agent. They don't like him hey, what's being up, Squatch? accused of treason. He Sarah's dangerous. A threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation Anderson turns up evidence to support our accusations. And Udina both Otherwise, have potato the council heads. might use this as an excuse to keep you out Mr. of the potato spectres. Head. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Excuse me. Squatch, you can't spell. What's going on over there? In the meantime, please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I love how I he am looks so sad looking right there. Tell me more about your species. It's my and phone, I swear. Sure. I delight in telling say. the history of my Then again, people. I do the same shit all the time. It That's is why agreeable I don't... to share our culture with others. I've had, like, some of the same typos for, like, fucking years. Like, over 15 years. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to Yeah, he's actually system, able to watch this time since, since he can watch it through Probably. YouTube and just put it on potato quality. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this rate station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, 
We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our I'll government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. So Good above the potato. Oh, okay. Enjoy your time. 360 is not that bad. 144p is just oh god. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do yeah, for you, Yeah, I have to be Earth in Clan? at 5 a.m. again, so I actually just uh, took my sleep aid. When I took my swig of water. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. You know it would be kind of fun Your to hear Shepard sing what's this, door. like from... In his own office. Then I remember before, before Christmas. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus. And then I'm, I'm off for the next two days. But also, I know, um... I was talking to Art before one of his streams. That, like, he said he had some days off coming in or anything. And he said that, like, him and I, like, will play something, uh... Told him not to promise me anything. That's the one thing I ask of everybody. Don't ever promise me anything. Because it really sucks when you get disappointment when a promise is made to you. I don't remember him saying promise, but I just I just say that. In general. Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you. Earth yeah, what the fuck we would play? I have no idea. History. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people Don't came knock to out the citadel. citadel. Um, Shortly this after is how you're going to know it Salarians starts to kick in. It. Is when um, we were instrumental in establishing a standardized it's almost kinda galactic like economy. When someone's getting tipsy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Well. Tell me about Volus culture. Squatch, it's kind of like we gotta take a number. Nature, but our ways are not line kind of deal. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase Good status. In a movie. <laughs> Larger tribes often engulf oh, smaller man. ones and eventually I really could go for some again. cheese right now. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Not necessarily Gouda. Since we're not physically adept, probably we trade our services. Oh no, for if we're protection. gonna go Gouda, it has to be Chipotle Gouda. That shit is amazing if you like spice to your cheese. Um, then there's jalapeno uh, pepper jack cheese. Oh, goodness gracious. I, I really want Havarti cheese. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy They're talking about cultures and their species and shit. We're over here talking about cheese. Chastising rebuke, Dan. Art the council is very in demand, especially at greatly. the train station. Yeah, the train station you comes first, no pun intended. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. The only thing that YouTube really needs to get on is, uh, you know, kind of like how Twitch has the whole clipping mechanism. Yeah. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans, it would seem. Dismissive. 
Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Yeah, Havarti cheese. Shit. Really? Like how long melts have we been waiting? Mouth. How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. He has a you fucking stick in his ass, the just like the Turians. And the council has granted you great favor. <laughs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold oh. since coming to the Citadel. I thought Art worked at the fudge packing Details. factory. We still have no real say in the decisions well, that affect Citadel space. Well, and I guess like receiving from one end, you gotta blow it out another end, so yeah. Monster cheese? Mm, Monster cheese is pretty uh, generic. Like, I, I grew up eating that all the time. Now, um, Blake, do you actually like spicy? Not like flaming fucking hot in your mouth kind of thing, but do you like like spice to your food? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Oh, hello. hello there, human. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? I'd like Alarmed cheese response. much more if it... You oh, that yeah, that sucks. I think I'm slightly so lactose intolerant, but nothing crazy. It's just mostly... Cheese like, if I were to eat something at this hour at night, it would wreak havoc on my stomach. Um, so how's the cosplay going, Kate? Um, it's going. Um... Right now, I'll I'll post pictures. Wait, do you have? Do you have a Twitter? I don't remember. But anyway, like I'll I'll, I'll post like some progress pictures. But I don't think I'm gonna get it done in time. So I'm kind of working on a backup, like a low key backup um cosplay as well. Just be like my own version of um Femshep, considering I. <laughs> Nico Chan did buy me a uh, Omni Blade one year for Christmas. Try vegan cheese. Ugh. That shit has no flavor. But anyway, Blake. Okay, so you like mild. Uh, I was gonna say, if you like spice, it's not necessarily like spicy, it's gonna set your mouth on fire. Um. Like, next time, like, you go to Publix, and if they happen to have, like, a sale or whatever, you should get the either buffalo or, yeah, I think buffalo chicken. No Twitter. Okay. Um, buffalo chicken. Uh, sub. With chipotle gouda. And whatever else you want on it. It is actually really fucking good. Or even like the jalapeno uh, pepper jack cheese. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. I want to ride an Elcor into battle. But I think they're slow moving, so I don't think that would work out too well. <laughs> Almond based one I tried wasn't bad. It was mozzarella. I was gonna say what brand. Oh, wait. I wanna go in the other room? Can I go in the other room? No, I cannot. Never mind. Just kidding. Everyone get the fuck out of my way.
Yeah, you know what, Blake? Uh, it's like, honestly, Publix is gonna spoil you with that shit. Which, guys, if you don't live on the East Coast, that's the company that I actually work um, for. It's a grocery chain. They're slowly cre creeping up the East Coast. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador. A lot of the kids that like I work right. with and everything, when they go to college out of state, when they come back, they're craving a Publix um, sub sandwich. And it's really fucking funny. Yeah, he's in the US. I forgot where. You know who I am? Yes, you have a scar I on received your head. reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. You know, that's the only thing that really sucks about, um... About Mass Effect. Like, when it came to Andromeda, there was, like, no, like, diversity. Uh, Albertsons is slowly dying in Florida. I used to love their French bread. There used to be like a, a local carnival that would set up like every now and then over in the parking lot by an Albertsons. And it said, fuck the carnival food. We would go to Albertsons, get a French bread, and we'd eat that and go on rides. I live in the middle of nowhere. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. So, Squatch, you live in BFE. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Thanks. To the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh my god, everything just lagged there for a second. It's over here. Wait. Oh, never mind, it's the other side. Just kidding. More Elcor. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Yes, you get to sit on your butt. In front of a terminal. Kinda wish I could do that. Just kinda. You know what? And I still haven't found all these fuckers. Uh, BFE butt fuck Egypt. Basically, middle of nowhere. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Oh, wait. What? I already clicked on her. And him. Okay, never mind. I'm out. Goodbye. Hello. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No, but who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you Whole need, Commander? Whole Foods is mad expensive, too. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? <laughs> BFE, I, I say the boonies. It just depends on what you hear when you're growing up. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand Granted, of the council, I was so they like to be raised called. in South Florida all my life well, like and everything. Apparently I have like northern influences and in, like things that I say. At least according to people that come up that come from 
like New York and uh, Jersey and stuff. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We prices, both know that. that but because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, about I do have Amazon Prime, but at the is same time, the kind of it seems like Amazon is needs. reaching out to do more. Uh. I don't think anything I say really gonna make this guy like me anyway. Fuck it, I'm gonna say But not all specters are like Saren. <laughs> True. But the potential is always there. C -Sec. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian okay, government agency, though many of our members have it's had military like how my... training. The city I live in. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. You see, that Turian's blue eyes are a little bit like better because it's like a darker blue. And Shepard's eyes are just creepy as fuck. Yeah, I know Amazon owns Whole Foods. That is so weird. I'm glad I got three chats open because like some some of the shit is not getting picked up in one chat or the other. I love technology. Hello. Everybody mingling. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to... Go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Yeah, I'm live Thanks, on Twitch kid. as well. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> Wait. It's that bitch. She's in the second game. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shiera's. 
If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. I've got a friend that lives in Utah and she fucking absolutely hates it. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Oh, well, it was Cora's Den. That's Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Yay. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Oh. Nothing out here. I just went right through the damn door. Oh, hi. This place seems strange. There's no more humans around. One. Dude, there's four other fucking humans. Go talk. Jeez. <laughs> welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to... Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. No. Fuck you. <laughs> so are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using. It's like I'm so done. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Okay, we're gonna run around like literally. Oh, yeah. It's like a huge difference. Like, I drove like two hours north, like to um, Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee. At least in that general area. And it is. It, it smells way different. Like, granted, mine isn't like extremely like polluted, but it's a lot busier. To the woods. Should I even be coming down here? I don't think I should be coming down here just yet. I don't think I can. There's a stupid jellyfish. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Stuff. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Fine, lady. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's my necklace. <laughs> Yeah. Is it? Sorry. I was already tired to begin with, and then I took a sleep aid, so this is gonna be like. <laughs> this is gonna get silly. Oop. Hello. What's this? What of the Earth Clan? Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly... Yeah, remarkable. Buffalo, New York is pretty. I am amazed each time At I At least some it. areas that I've seen through pictures. I've never actually been up there. Uh. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, EarthClan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor. Okay, to many you know what? I knew you were in California, but goddamn, I am so sorry, Chungus. Yourself, arrives on the station, that traffic. I take notice. And those fires. Ouch. And earthquakes. Fuck, you get like a little bit of everything over there. Except for snow. Except for that happened last year. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. Drunken I'm an dwarf. And how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. I'm just over here just staring at the damn chat. I'm just like more intrigued with Everything you guys I do chatting than this damn game. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. I How would it look actually if he had money didn't mind New York City. In a Hanar exporting company? Anytime like I went up there, Even I've actually wanted to go to New York to City. People, he would be accused of advancing Although the petition navigating for his own the subway uh, system I can was confusing to me. Finances private. Well, aside from drunk. No, I know, but that's the, the, you and Drunken Dwarf are the only two people that I know that are in California. Then again, one of my friends in uh, Discord, uh, Legend, he is also in California. I don't know if anybody else is in California. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true oh, yeah, splendor goes much lives, deeper I, than the wait, hull and engines. Wait, does live in Illinois? From the Presidium to the wards. The entire station is a testament to the success of the council. I think he lives near Chicago, All or he lives in Chicago. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. You know what, actually, um... Oh my god, all my customers fucking do this to me because this is not, like, a normal, like, greeting if you live in South Florida. It's like... Well, it's not even a greeting. It's just like, I don't ask people, how are you? I'm just like, how you doing? But I don't have, like, that over-generic, like, New Yorker accent. Hey. <laughs> what makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. 
This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. Proceeding what are the words like? The... the cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. It's a really bad idea. You never know really what you'll find out in the right wards, now. Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. See ya. I'm out. Jellyfish! Anything around here? I feel like I'm in an Apple store. I'm not looking forward to doing all the missions. And I mean all of them. Um I don't know Chungus. Do I look like I go to the beach? <laughs> Even though I'm, I'm like 20 minutes away from it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably. Like the cool thing about living in New York City though is... Yeah, you don't need a car. You don't need a car because you really want to pay for fucking parking in the city. It's fucking ridiculous. You have to get the perfect ending. Yeah, I know. And, and what a bang tally. But anyway. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Cars are from Jersey. Actually, either like Jersey or they live outside of New York City. Like, um, I actually used to. Before I moved here to Florida, we lived in um, Westchester County in uh, Yorktown Heights, not far from White Plains. And the last time I was in New York, I was. It was in 2008. But that's when I was dating a guy that lived in Long Island. So, Nassau County was kind of nice. Who are you? This one's face name is Dela Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. Kate, go to the beach one day. You want me to just go stick my foot in the water? <laughs> Test it? <laughs> Actually, the last couple of times I've actually gone to the beach and everything, I had freaking little fish nibbling on my toes. A lot of people come into the city just work probably because they can't afford living in the city. Uh, actually, just um, New York in general is just expensive. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Actually, one of my sister's Hannah friends only refer to themselves wanted the to move to New York family, because, oh yeah, you get paid intimates. more. Yeah, you know why you get paid more? Because it's fucking and expensive there. we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. And you're still gonna have the same issue. Yes, test the water. <laughs> uh... I really don't even want to, like, deal with sharks. Like, I love the beach and everything. I love the salt water. But, I just... I actually just, yeah. Do a beach vlog? Shit, I haven't done a beach vlog in a long time. Actually, I think the last time I did a beach vlog was with Nako, and that was, like, maybe when I first started my YouTube channel. Don't tell them. Don't tell Billy about the fish nibbling on them toes. 
Like, seriously. That was just a picture I just happened to have in my damn library of photos. This one's face name is Delaninder. Oh, Though many in this God place simply Sorry. refer to it. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, show me everything. Oh, jeez. Oh! Wait, no, show... I need your license. Give me your license. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. View the items! Give me your license. Wait. What? Oh. I've done. All right, I got your license, so now I can buy your shit on the uh, on the Normandy. So we're good. I don't have to buy anything right now. Cause I need money. You know what? I actually really I, I need to actually um I need to renew my passport. I think it's up. I think it expires next year. Times. Why? What do they want? How should I? Oh. Nope. Uh, Shepard, your eyes like disappeared a little bit there. Oh, hello. Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Uh, three or four months. <clears throat> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'm not making any joke here. Hmm. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. Eh, of course he would. Our client <laughs> list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Okay, I already said that, but okay. Uh, what is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's okay, difficult to explain. I'm going to She's store. many things to many people, and something different for each. Some All right, seek take her care, for advice, Squatch. Some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Yeah, California Most of the is pricey time, our as well. clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Fuck, even um, Miami is expensive. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Okay, goodbye. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. 
It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Thanks. That was easy. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay, as long as he's not the one that died. Well, yeah, Miami's basically, um, it's like little Cuba there. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe yeah, he will up, listen Hydro? to you and let the matter be. Alright, that's no problem, man. Go get some rest. It's more important. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about I like how she just gets so close grateful. and everything and hugs, and Shepard doesn't really budge. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Thanks. I like eavesdropping. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. So, same thing with the Solarians, apparently. Okay, so I need to go to... Corazon. I gotta go a lot of places. Yeah, screw it. Let's go to there. Just do the fast traveling from now on. Wait, do I even have access to this? Fuck, okay, I gotta go to the council instead. I'm actually noticing. It's almost nine. Okay. I'll probably stream for like another hour. Or I'll see if the sleep aid kicks my ass. We'll see what happens first.
You know, I think... I think one of my favorite YouTubers lives, like, uh, near San uh, Santa Monica. I kind of miss the elevator shit in the other games. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. Caden's got like the shittiest hairstyle. Not so much that he's like rich. It's a um, or at least that's where their PO box is. Like he's been doing like the YouTube thing for quite some time, but he's also got his own business going on. Just YouTube happens to be a part of it. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Yeah, there's a lot of homeless like everywhere. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Eh, yeah, no guarantee. Well, it's like I'm not 100% sure that's where he lives exactly. I just know that they have a P.O. box there. Or did. I'll, actually, I'll have to I have to look into it because I know Santa is the first part of it, and it could be something else. Yeah, I'm going to have to look it up again. Commander. I'll probably talk to everybody after this. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. The hearing's already started. Come on. I had to go ask people questions. Stupid shit. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must I be really the like how they don't Shepard. notice the modifications to his fucking destroyed. body. mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. 
Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This no, I keep hearing all these things about in and out like mixed things, like people love it and the people hate them. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Actually... I had Shake Shack for the first time not that long ago. That shit's pretty good. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like going to a white castle that's not in New York. Yep. I've heard of Smashburger, but I've never been there. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of the We weren't discussing this shit here, but here we are discussing this shit. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. 
Yeah, that shit's expensive. I think it's about the same price here, too. You don't think much of Harkin. Ooh. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. Oh, yeah, this shit's kicking in. He's been in. an embarrassment to our species ever since. I'm gonna sleep tonight. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay, are these from shit that I've seen? Like the burgers from in and out I know I'm not really part of this conversation, but I can't help to uh, chime in. It looks better than like your generic like fucking like McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King and shit like that. So I don't know. I probably would prefer in and out over those. But Shake Shack is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to end it just yet. I don't know. You want to see if I'm probably going to waffle face or just like maybe fall asleep on my microphone. Hopefully not drool on it. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Yeah, people are gonna, like, the more populated, the more pricey things get. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? Oops. You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's they just always become. looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. I was like, where the fuck am I? Huh. What? That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. 
We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. You lived in Kissimmee St. Cloud? I am so sorry. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. One scan done. I never found all of them anyway. I never do. Is anybody over here worth talking to? No? Okay. It's like a booth. Whoa, that's a wall. Ooh. Ah. Okay, never mind. I don't talk to you. Goodbye. You weren't a focus kid, huh? I think I actually find Garrus in Korra's den. though. If I had Tally in here, she'd just threaten people with her shotgun. Too late, already did. Oh, there's that jellyfish. You're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? 
Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of good like southern cooking. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. And also, Blake, um, this one humbly submits not all that it is not preaching is to state the truth of the enkindlers, and differs. thus no permit should be necessary. Who are the enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Like some places it's like more smoky, other places it's more sweet, others it's like tangy or even like spicy. It, it just like it varies. I actually do not like smoked meats, but I guess it depends on that, like how it's smoked and like what kind of wood they use but a lot of times I don't really care for that I feel like my barbecue messy let me talk to the CSEC officer perhaps I can explain the situation this one would be most grateful that Hanar refuses to listen to reason why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner yeah pretty much there's actually a place, I keep forgetting the name of it, but in uh, Claremont, Florida, there is a barbecue place that is actually, like, number one. Like, it's one contest for, like, being the number one, like, barbecue kind of, like, place. So they say. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Oh. Thank God you don't get in trouble for having your gun out. What game? There's a couple games, like, if you had your weapon out, you'd get in trouble. Uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that this shit is kicking in because I am having so many brain farts right now. That Hanar refuses oh. to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Now you guys are making me hungry. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to, spread the truth to any who will listen. 
There is no intent to cause trouble. Where the fuck do I buy the permit? I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Yeah. You would think that Blake... Okay, Blake, seriously? Your spirit food is pizza. Um... Yeah, he posts, like, selfies of himself in Discord all the time, especially with his dog, which is adorable. Um, but yeah, he, I think he's got a crazy high metabolism, but also he does, like, he skateboards a lot, too. Okay, so I think I actually have to go to C-Sec to get that damn permit. Don't look directly at us, Shepard, and we're good. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let's go bug that one dude. It's like, or if Blake could, he'd dress up as a pizza. Yo, for Halloween, if you go into a Target, if they have a pizza costume, can you please buy it and wear it? Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have He's any information about boy. Sarah? Skater boy. You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Sarah. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? <laughs> yeah, really, what's the fucking catch? There is catch? no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain. Considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Oh, jeez. Hey, Chongos, I got the dumbest question. Do people still say, like, gnarly and shit like that over there? I'm reading this and I'm hearing the words in my head and I'm just like, what the fuck? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Seasick? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. <sighs> You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without Did I already ask him this shit attention. earlier? Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. I think I'll just ask about Tell the me more broker. about the shadow broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information. And it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker well, is the I'm true. not a surfer. <laughs> Every day but have you heard people like say it and shit like that? Always giving them to the highest At bidder. least I know what context to use it in. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. 
nobody ends I actually up remember there was one day the my end. friend looked at me funny we were in um in hot topic and we we're just looking at something and I said I'm like this shit is pretty fucking dope like I said it was dope and I never say that and she just stared at me she goes who the fuck are you what did you do with K she calls me K so it's like K-A-Y I have so many nicknames it's not even funny any guess what his identity might be I don't know nobody does but she likes to the say rad. Could be any race, any gender. She was I born in New Mexico, but she was raised, I think, mostly here in Florida. How else could they juggle so, so many like, contacts the at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, today from no matter how many dough. secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Makes sense. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Totally radical. Oh, that just reminded me of a Markiplier uh, fan-made game, and there's a YouTuber, I think his name is, uh, he made the game, and I think his YouTube name is Radical Soda. That was completely fucking random information you guys didn't really need to know or care about. But the fan-made game was really funny. I wonder how Oreos would go with almond milk. Where the fuck am I going? Ah, I guess I'm going to C-Sec. I don't know where the fuck it is. Where is it? C-Sec Academy. Okay, going this way. Almond milk is good. Just depends on what... I definitely enjoy that more than soy milk. Soy milk is like... Bleh. It's like, let's milk a different nut, please. No dirty minds, thank you. I wish you streamed more often. You talk about real life issues and not afraid to call out people's bullshit. Oh, well, yeah. I'm gonna call people's bullshit out just like I would want people to call out my own. Where's the cow milk? God, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, where am I? Oh, this consort. Never mind. I don't need to be here. Where the fuck am I going? Do I need to go here? No soy. <laughs> be a soy boy. Yeah, it's like I don't really have problems talking about this, that, and the other thing. It's just I don't... I really just don't deal with people's bullshit. I just went in a fucking circle. I need to read a sign. Oat milk. That was a thing. I also kind of want to try cashew milk. Okay, C sec. Ooh, Jungus, if you ever get bored, um, do you have you ever watched Good Mythical Morning? And if yes or no, look up Good Mythical Morning, and um, I guess the episode is called Will It Milk. It's a very interesting episode, especially when they try to make Cheeto milk. Like, yeah. Seriously, Cheetos. 
Okay, embassies. To CSEC. I could have just gone the other fucking way. God fucking damn it. Or is this it? Oh. Well, I feel stupid. No, you haven't? Oh, boy. Man, this delay is crazy. I probably have to actually change some of the settings. In light of the YouTube recent then. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Oh, I wonder Many why. Proposals are on Cheeto hold milk. Until backers have some reassurance it's just, it's more entertaining than anything. Because they go through like a milking process of like. It's just soaking the item. Why, wow, this motion blur is crazy. <laughs> Rex! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love Rex. I love the Krogan. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Where the fuck am I going? I actually need to get that up there because I've fucked up on so much. I forgot he knows a little bit of uh, biotics. I want you to be a fucking powerhouse.
I, I pretty much play this game very half-ass. Um, fast food. My fast food spots, we don't really have like great ones, I guess. It's because you have your generic, um, Wendy's, um, McDonald's, Burger King. I used to love Burger King a lot as a kid. The only thing I actually like there is the, uh, original chicken sandwich, but even that's like hit or miss. Um, McDonald's for fries. Wendy's for their spicy chicken sandwich, but even that's kind of like, mm, depends. Then there's Chick-fil-A, but I don't really... I don't know, it's like sometimes it's like I keep hearing, like, just don't support them and shit like that, but it's like, I'm sorry, but their fucking chicken sandwich is good. Mainly their fucking waffle fries are really good. I, we do have Sonic. We have Sonic down here. And no, I'm not talking about the fucking hedgehog, and we're not gonna even talk about that movie. I've, I've never liked Sonic, Sonic anyway. The hedgehog. Um, but Sonic food does not agree with me. It's like, we don't really have anything that's like really crazy or worthwhile down here. We got a lot of like the generic shit that's usually around the, all around the US. It's like, we don't have like an in and out we don't have like Jack in the Box. We don't have a white castle. I'm trying to think what else. Hmm. Like we do have a Shake Shack. I like that. Um what else do we have? I know the name of it, but it's escaping me. Sorry, I accidentally scratched myself. Um, oh, steak and shake. Oh my god. Shakes are good. Their fries are decent. The rest of their food, I'm like, lit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I guess it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. But I usually lean more towards like uh, chicken sandwiches. Yeah, I have to agree with that, Chunkus. Alright, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna run places for another 24 minutes. Then I'm gonna fuck off and go to sleep. Yeah, Chick fil A, yeah. One sec, looking you up. Hi. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna scan that guy. I'm out. Mm, maybe down over this way? I remember actually- well, I don't really think this is considered a fast food joint, but there's not many of them around. It used to be um, called Miami Subs and Grill, but I think they changed their name and I don't think there's that many of them left. they would be considered more kind of like how like Chipotle is is kind of like fresh fast food kind of deal 
Really, guys? There's no elevator conversation. I am disappointed in you two. Oh god, you actually do? Yeah, they actually they're they're still going. At least one location that I've seen. It's it's actually not too far from where uh, Nico Chan lives, down in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Why do I not remember this area? Where am I? Oh. Oh my god, am I gonna meet that crazy fan? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? It's kind of what CSEC is. Hang you gotta on. meet all kinds of I'm cool aliens. I'm skipping through a lot like of those. those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly. But they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Okay, you're not very helpful, dude. Go. I'm out. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, yeah. See you around, Commander. You're, you're not very helpful with your information and locating where these fuckers are. Although... Ugh. Get... Get off the wall. I think the medical office is over here. Yep. I we going in. Tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. I can aim right above, but I can't shoot them. What the? Get the fuck out of my way! Does that blow up? Yeah, it blew up. I can just like sit here and I'm fine. Uh, oh, hi! This is like this is veteran mode. Like really? That was such a dramatic fall. I love it. Um good. You guys good? This game is so wonky. I don't think I've used any Metagel. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? Oh, no, yeah, Boyo okay. Tropical. Thanks to you, all of you. Chicken on the grill. I'm really fucking hungry. <laughs> I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from I think I actually had her him. replace Dr. Cha um, Dr. Uh, Chuck was she must be once, able to and I did death. not like that. I like There's Chuck no was. way the council can ignore this. I would love to see Nico Chan do a playthrough where she romances Garrus, but then she has Dr. Chuck was um, replaced with this chick. Oh, the jealousy. That would freaking fire her up. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. I'm wrong to, bring to say we're gonna fist fist. Do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? 
I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Yeah, and Pembroke Pines is like a half hour, 45 minute drive, depending on traffic for me. And also depending how fast I'm driving. Mish says I drive pretty crazy. Safe, but crazy. Garrus would have a threesome. <laughs> Probably. Actually, yeah, no, I think he is pretty open to that. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Fist, fist. All right, you know, for shits and giggles, let's have these boys on board. We're gonna have some crazy combat strength. Yes, that's you. Now I don't have to listen to the two whiners. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been. Uh, I forgot her name, but her she reminds me of um Lillian? Or whatever the fuck her name is from Dragon Age. Alright. Don't go too crazy at the gym. Just get some form of workout in. Anyways, what what type of working out are you doing? Upper leg cardio? What's going on here? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay, so I'll look at that stuff later. You do cardio mostly? Oh, okay. Well, don't go crazy. I actually I think I'm going to end this right here because it's almost a quarter to ten and I do need to uh, try to lose weight and hitting weights. Okay. I, yeah, I just mostly did strength training. But I probably should focus on cardio just to get some of the weight off my joints. <sighs> oh, sorry. Fuck. Yeah, I'm going to fucking go to bed. Getting that summer, <laughs> that summer bod. Oh yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you whenever I decide to play something, which I'm probably sure Chungus really wants me to play Dead Space. I honestly should get the third game just to see what it's like, but I've heard so many bad things about it. But who knows? Anyway, you guys have a good night, day, whatever. My thumb is itchy and I'm rubbing it against my knee <laughs> on my jeans. Anyway, yeah. See, unlike art and you're telling me to go to sleep, now I'm going to sleep and it's not insanely late like it was last night for him. Twit. Bye-bye.